Hello everyone, Pete here, and Xbox have just released a huge new update that is wild for us RG Ally, Ally X, Legion Go, and indeed all Windows-based handheld owners. Let's blast through the four easy steps in how to get this set up, and then discuss the two big reasons why this is such a pivotal and significant moment for us PC handheld gamers. So as we start, let's head into Armory Crate, load up the Xbox app, and we can see here that on the public general release, we can only launch our Xbox Game Pass games and also our Xbox Play Anywhere titles through this version of the Xbox app. So for step one, we need to install the Xbox Insider Hub app by hitting the Windows Start button, open the Microsoft Store, type in Xbox Insider. One of the first searches should be this Xbox Insider Hub app, so click this. Then simply click the blue button to install this Xbox Insider app. Once this is installed, for step two, let's make sure our Xbox app is fully up to date. So while we're in the Microsoft Store, let's head to the updates and download section by clicking this cloud icon right here. Click on the big blue check for updates button on the top right. If we scroll down, we should see that our Xbox app is queued to update, although yours may be fully up to date and may not appear here. Click on the Xbox app here, then simply click update. And this should only take less than 30 seconds to do this. So we can now close the Microsoft Store. And for step three, let's enroll into the Xbox Insider program by hitting the Start menu, then All. Then scroll right to the bottom and click on the Xbox Insider Hub app to launch this. In the app, let's click Join. Scroll down the Terms and Conditions, then hit Accept on the left. Click on the Previews tab on the left. Scroll all the way down and click on the PC Gaming button. Hit Join and this will just take a few minutes as it enrolls us into the program. When it's finished, it should change from pending to manage, so click this. And we can see here that we're now enrolled into the PC Gaming Preview program, which is ace. And we can leave this at any time by simply clicking the Leave Preview button. But I'm going to hit Save and then close the Xbox Insider Hub app. And for the final step four, let's update our Xbox app into the Insider Preview version by opening the Xbox app, head to Settings, then library and extension. And we can see that we still don't have Steam to select from here. And if we head back into the Xbox app here to the main screen, and we can see that it has now changed at the top to Xbox Insider. And the last three digits are 20.0 at the time of recording. So let's head into the Microsoft Store again, click on the cloud downloads icon again, and there's a new version of the Xbox app right here. So let's click on this. And it'll just take a moment to download this to the very latest Xbox Insider version. So after it's installed, let's open the newly updated Xbox app up. And at the top, we can see that the last three digits have now changed from the previous 20.0 to now 37.0 at the time of recording. If we head into settings, then library and extensions, Steam is still not showing up. So let's press the power button and restart our ally. Open the Xbox app. And yes, we can now see that our Steam games are launchable within the Xbox app. Awesome. If we head into the library tab, all of our Steam games will now sit right here alongside our Game Pass and Xbox Play Anywhere titles. And if we head into settings, then library and extensions, we can see that Steam and indeed other third party launchers like Epic Games for me can now be toggled on and off to now launch their respective games within the Xbox app. So if we head back into our game library in the Xbox app, click on a game like the awesome Balatro and hit the green play button. And voila, we're now in our Steam bought game. And with the Steam summer sale just starting so we can impulse purchase all of those games to further deepen our backlog just because they're on great discounts, the timing of this is fantastic as we can now launch these through the Xbox app. So right now I know you're thinking, Pete, why is launching Steam games through the Xbox app so pivotal and significant? What's so special? And the first reason is that if we get a Sony first party PS5 title, like one of my favourite ever games in The Last of Us Part 1 on Steam, which is currently half price by the way, and if you somehow haven't played this and you absolutely must. I've already got this on PS5, but I'll purchase again on Steam right here, then install it. The fact that we can now launch Sony's first party PS5 titles bought on Steam and now launching through the Xbox app no less is something we just would not have thought possible just a couple of years ago. 
And the second reason is that while this is a preview Xbox app update, that it is a beta, so there will be quirks and bugs, and also some features that are missing, like the ability to search by our Steam games right here, that this is just a glimpse of later on in the year, when the full on Xbox game mode launches on the upcoming RG Xbox handhelds, and indeed will be available for all of us existing ally, Legion Go and all PC Windows based handheld gamers that will get this new Xbox game mode. And this will be so much more optimized for gaming to give us a true console like feel. It will push the sheer clunkiness of Windows away into the background and hopefully give us true sleep and resume functionality that so many of us have longed for. I'd love to hear what you think about this new Xbox update. Will you be downloading it? And are you planning to get one of the RG Xbox handhelds later on in October? Let us all know in the comments. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Life is great when we stay away from negative, jealous and unhappy people. Yes, it is so true that negativity breeds negativity and there are so many toxic people around us like friends, family members and colleagues who really can get us down and wear us out. But let's do our best to stay around those people who are a positive influence and who build us up instead. So stay encouraged today guys. And as an extra bonus treat for staying right to the end, here's our gorgeous rescue cat and her name is Pancake. And if you enjoyed today's video, then check out your top 10 questions answered on these new ROG Xbox Ally handhelds. Like, should we get the Legion Go 2 instead? As always, be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.